Hey, what's up, YouTube? Kyle Leader, aka Smooth Flipper, and in this video, we're going to take it back to a beginner's guide of phone flipping. So, I have a ton of videos already about phone flipping and how to do it, uh, but just wanted to make a video just basically compiling everything into one video for the beginners. Um, so, as you guys can see, I do have a PowerPoint type deal uh, for you guys. So, basically, going to go through this really quick um, and show you guys pretty much the steps it takes to do this business. So, again, without further ado, let's get into it. All right. So, the question that a lot of people, you know, ask, um, you know, why phone flipping? Why is this uh, a business that, you know, um, you want everybody to, to learn about? And just for the simple fact that, you know, technology is growing, you know, I remember times where we had, um, you know, the iPhone 3G, um, you know, and now we have the iPhone X, just those phones, you know, if you compare those two phones, um, the 3G just is demolished by the X, just, you know, technology is growing. Um, and that was just what, I'd say, what, uh, eight years ago, eight, nine years ago. Just, just by how fast you know you guys can see the technology is growing. Uh, we pretty much have computers uh, in our hands, you know, computers that can call in our hands. So that's why I do phone flipping. It's growing. Um, everyone has a phone. You can go out and you know go to a uh, Starbucks, go to somewhere in public. You're gonna see everybody on their phones. Everybody's using their phones. People are talking on the phone. People are doing business with their phones. So. You know, if you don't have a phone in 2018, then you are missing out. Um, and the next reason why, you know, why phone flipping is just because this is, you can do part-time work and make a full-time income. Um, a lot of people who have told me, you know, in my group, uh, who are in my course, they, they tell me, you know, I've made more this week um, part-time than I did in my full-time job. So just to show you guys, it doesn't take much work. Um, you know, you're not you're not swinging a hammer for for eight nine hours um, to make money. It's it's pretty simple and easy, but there are some things you guys have to uh, uh, learn about. But again, it is part time work for a full time income. Now let's get into it. So the first thing um, that's you know the the most important thing in this business is generating leads. Um, you can't buy a phone without leads and how do you do that? So I like to teach post uh, posting wanted ads. So you can go out and you know find phones. You can go in and go on Craigslist, look for phones yourself. I know some people that do do that. Um, in certain areas, it's good because a lot of phones are being posted, so it's pretty easy to get some good deals. But for me and a lot of other a lot of other people who are doing this, posting wanted ads seems the best, and that's just because of this. Um, people come to you for quick cash. You're offering quick cash, and although you're offering a price where you can profit, they're okay with that because they don't have to go through the hassle of having to list their phone, dealing with uh, different you know people who flake out on them. So it's a lot you know when it comes to uh, uh, you know posting your phone. Some people are just lazy. They don't want to do it. They rather they'd rather take a hundred dollar hit on it uh, just to get some quick cash. Now, with generating leads, you're going to realize that you have to be consistent when, you know, if you want this business to work. If you want this business to work at its full potential, you have to be consistent. You can't post once uh, once a week um, expecting to make four or $5,000 a month. Um, you can't post on one platform and expect to make four or $5,000 a month. You have to be consistent, whether you're posting on Craigslist, Facebook, OfferUp, LetGo, and Five Miles. You have to be consistent. Um, I post every day. I, you know, I teach everyone else to post every single day. Don't miss a day. Uh, you know, it takes five minutes to post, and a five-minute post, you know, can make you two hundred bucks that day. So be consistent. Um, one other thing about generating leads, you have to set yourself apart. From competition. Now you have to realize phone flipping is something that is um, becoming more popular. You know, when I started uh, eight years ago, it you know it wasn't as popular. 
it was a lot easier to get phones uh, because, you know, I was the only one really in my area, you know, promoting that I was uh, buying phones and offering cash. Now that it is, you know, growing, a lot of people are being taught the same thing. So I like to set myself apart from competition, whether it is uh, different ad pictures, whether it is um, different marketing tactics, whatever the case may be, you want to set yourself apart. You don't want to be like the next person. You know, a lot of big companies do things to set themselves apart, you know, like Walmart. Walmart has those, um, the rollback prices, you know, they can, you know, they, they can price their items for, for a lot cheaper than, um, let's say, Sam's Club or or Target, you know, they, they can do that. So they're setting, them, they're setting themselves apart from the competition, and that's why they generate a lot of business. Same thing with phone phones, you have to do the same thing. Next, so once you have generated leads and you have, you know, a couple phones that people are wanting to sell you, you have to appraise them. Now, appraising just means um, you have to figure out what the phone sells for. So if they have an iPhone 7 for Verizon, uh, let's say this is a 32 gigabytes, perfect condition, clean, ESN and everything, what you want to do, you want to go on eBay and search that exact item up and you want to filter the results by the sold listing. So you want to see what they sold for. Um, we don't care about what the phone is selling for as far as what people are selling the phone for. The phone could be on eBay for, for $800, but if we don't filter it by the sold, uh, the recently sold items, then we won't know that this, this phone doesn't sell uh, for $800, it sells for $300. So you have to know how to appraise. You know, this is probably one of the most challenging things about this business is knowing how to appraise, knowing how to read numbers. Um, you know, as far as eBay sales and stuff like that. And uh, just like I mentioned in the last slide, just as far as being consistent, you have to become a master at appraising. You have to you have to kind of know what a phone sells for um, without even looking on eBay. So there's a lot of times I can, I can, you know, pick up a phone and say, okay, this phone probably sells between 360 to 380. Um, and I just know that from being consistent and just by appraising so many phones. So you have to be up on the market as far as, um, you know, last month, the 7 Plus was going for 500. Now you realize that it's going for 470. So you can't, you know, base your, your, your items or excuse me, your prices on last month. You have to appraise every single phone that you get in uh, from your leads. So become a master at it, learn it, um, you know, and, and this will set you apart because sometimes people don't appraise right. They might, you know, appraise and they offer a really low ball price and they won't get the deal. So if you appraise it correctly, you do all the calculations as far as um, fees, shipping fees, all that, and you offer a price where you are comfortable with the profit, then you should do good. Next, so after you have appraised it and offer the price, you're going to have to meet up with this person. This this is not a, uh, you know, a mail-in service where you're getting phones in um, you know, that you're not gazelle. So you have to meet up with them face to face. This is the only way you can get phones. Um, and what I'm going to say about this is just meet up in a safe public place. You know, do not meet up, uh, you know, in an alley. Don't meet at night. Don't meet in others cars. I know people who have met in others cars. I have did that, um, in the past, you know, when I first started, um, and it's just not smart to do, you know, meet up, in an area where you're comfortable with meeting up. You know, if, they, if they're telling you, hey, I'm at my house, can you swing by my house? Don't do it. Meet up where, where there's others around who can see, uh, where there's cameras, and you should be good. Now, after you have met up, after you have did the transaction, it's time to list your item. Uh, some tips that I want to give you guys about listing. So whether you're listing the item on eBay, you know, Facebook, OfferUp, Craigslist, whatever the case may be, Whatever that platform you decide, it's very important for you to take professional picks. Now, I, I dislike this so much where people are holding the phone here and they're taking the they're taking the picture with another phone. That's very unprofessional. Um, it just it just looks tacky, and it's something that you don't want to do. You want to be professional. You want to show each and every mark 
on a phone and you want to be 100% honest with any issues with the phone. So if the phone has a small crack on it and it's very small, um, you have to mention that. You have to mention that it's a very small crack or it's just a cracked screen because, again, a crack is a crack no matter what. Um, just mention that. If the phone has a bad ESN, meaning if it's not paid off, then mention it's not paid off. You know, you, you're not going to get, uh, you're not going to do good in this business by, you know, trying to get around things, trying to uh, be dishonest with some, uh, with different listings. Um, because once they receive the phone, they realize that the phone is cracked, you're just going to get a return. You start, it's not like you can um, sell this phone to this person and not see them ever again. With eBay, the buyer has the right to get the return. And now your your funds are going to be on hold, and your account is going to uh, take a strike because the case is open. So make sure you're professional. Make sure you're 100 percent honest with your listings. Now, after you have done all that, you sell the item. Now you have the shipping process. Uh, there are a lot of different opinions about what uh, you know what you package your your phone in. You know. The two, two main ones are the box or the bubble mailer. I personally use the bubble mailer for just the phone. I'll use the box if it's the phone and the box included in accessories. But as long as the phone is uh, properly packaged, it's well cushioned to where, you know, even if it's in a bubble mailer, it won't get damaged when dropped. You should be good. Um, and one other tip is to ship ASAP. Now, it's very important for me. I ship next day every single time um, just because a lot of businesses, you know, we all order things online. Sometimes it takes a process, just a process to order. Your item will ship uh, maybe two, three days after you order the item. That could be a pain, um, you know, and again, Amazon, let's say Amazon, they have Amazon Prime where you can get you can get those fast shipping, uh, shipping rates and, and stuff like that. So you want to kind of be on that level as far as shipping as uh, ASAP. You want to be able to ship next day. Um, don't wait two or three days to ship because that goes a long way uh, with your customers. You're going to get a lot of feedback just because of your shipping. So like for me, a lot of my feedback is based off of my shipping and the item being described. So uh, a lot of it says, hey, this person shipped really fast. Item came in uh, three days, fast shipping. Um, item as described, you want to be able to have, um, you know, those under your belt as far as being able to ship fast. Because when people want to buy items, they go to the seller's feedback and they look at the feedback. Now, if you got a bunch of negative feedback, then you won't get uh, any more sales because people won't trust you. Now, if you're someone that has positive feedback and it's feedback as far as the shipping and as far as the item being described, then more buyers are going to come to you to uh, buy your items. Now, once you have done all this, once the item is delivered to the buyer, then the process is repeat. So as far as, you know, if you don't have much money and, you, and it's just a one process at a time, as far as you buying, shipping, getting your money like that, then just repeat the process. So if you buy one phone, um, one day off of your ad, the next day, repeat the same process, post another ad the next day. So you want to keep posting ads and repeating this process because um, you want as many eyes on your ads as possible. So the more eyes on your ads, the more leads that these ads are going to generate and the more money you're going to make. So repeat the process every single day. Do the same thing over and over again. It's like brushing your teeth. Uh, get to it, guys, and it's uh, you should be you should be good in this business. Now, another thing that I want to go over is a lot of people uh, feel the need to celebrate that they've made you know their, their first uh, hundred bucks. Now, it's good to be happy. It's good to um, you know uh, you know as far as as far as selling the item, it's, it's good to celebrate. Um, you know, but what I mean by that is. Be happy inside. Don't go out spending your, your profits on material things. That's not going to matter once you buy them. Uh, you want to you want to keep the cash flow rolling in. So if you don't have much money and you're using those that profit uh, 
to buy more phones, then do that. You know, it's it's just part of the business. Um, you'll have time to celebrate uh, when you have turned your hundred dollars into two thousand dollars. That's when it's time to celebrate. But when you're just starting out, it's very important to repeat the process over and over again and keep the cash flow rolling in. So I'm gonna go over some more tips for you guys before I end this video. Um, one tip I want to go over is to follow your instinct, and this is for when you are uh, either buying a phone or selling a phone, uh, you want to make sure that if you don't feel right about the situation, if you're not feeling right about meeting this person, then follow your instinct and don't do it. There's a lot of people out there who are crazy and um, just just bad people who, who are intentional and they want to hurt you, they want to rob you. If you're not feeling the situation, you have every right to not meet up or to just leave the meetup if you're already there. Um, just follow your instinct because you know you want to you want to be safe. This is the business where you're meeting up with people, you're meeting up with strangers. You want to be safe. Um, you know you don't want anything to happen to you with the, with each transaction. So if it's not if it's not something that you want to go through with, then you can always stop and um, hold off on, on this particular meetup. Another thing that I want to go over is having great customer service. Now, customer service goes a long way with business. Whatever you're doing, um, whether you are meeting up, whether you're talking to your leads, whether you are selling a phone locally, whether you're selling a phone online, great customer service is, is important. If they have a question about the item, you want to be quick with the reply. You want to be professional with the reply. Um, if they have an issue with the phone that you sold them and uh there's a problem with it there's no need to get mad there's no need to start um throwing out you know uh, hurtful words to them and just being unprofessional be as professional as you can and it goes a long way um there's, there's a lot of people who get phones including myself just by word of mouth so if you're somebody who uh are nice to to, to the person if you are you know very um you know, professional, then it goes a long way. You're going to get a lot more phones in because people are going to recommend uh, you to their friends just by having a great experience when they when they did the uh, transaction with you. And last thing I want to go over is to take your business serious. Um, I know some people are doing this part time. I know a lot of people are doing this full time. Even if you're doing this part time or as a hobby, you got to take this business serious. It's just not just not a uh, you know, a hobby business, there's money involved. You can lose a lot of money doing this. If you're not serious and if you um, are being taught the wrong thing. So take it very, very serious. I take it very serious just because this is what I do um, as you know, my full-time job. So, you know, just like as if I was working for someone else, if people are coming to me with different questions about the phone, um, then I'm going to answer in a professional way. I'm going to post ads every single day, regardless of the situation. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm going to, you know, just do everything that I need to do to, uh, you know, get my business out there to, to, to have, um, you know, to have the the buyer, or excuse me, the the customer, have them have a, a good experience with you. You don't want to be that guy that they say, well, don't deal with him because, or don't deal with her because they're rude. Uh, or don't deal with them because they're, they're shady. Don't be that person. Take it serious just as if you would have, just as if you were working for someone else. Now, this is a job that you guys have um, and you're working for yourself. So take advantage of that and make it work. All right, so that's going to end the video for today. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to my channel if you're new. Um, comment down below some other tips you might have for some beginners. And I will see you guys in the next video.